Good morning, Creation Station friends, and welcome back to another Sunday of our Armor of God curriculum. I'm so excited you're here. You know why? First of all, because I love you and I love seeing you every Sunday. But second of all, because we have this brand new curriculum where we're learning all about the armor of God. And for the summer, we have a brand new memory verse. And I want you to learn with me this verse. So here's what I want you to do right now. I need you to stand up. Everybody stand up. Good job. Now, I want you to do a little shaky. Do a little shaky, get the wiggles out. Take a deep breath in. And I'm going to say our memory verse and I'm gonna say it slowly and I'm gonna do the little motions and then I want you to say it right after me, okay? So let's do it together. So our memory verse is in Ephesians 6 verses 10 and 11 and we start with the word finally and when you say finally I want you to just make an X and put your hands down can you do like this finally do it good job so finally and then we're going to do be strong and when we say be strong we're gonna put our hands on our hips be strong can you do it for me one two three be strong very good so finally be strong in the Lord. And when we say in the Lord, we're gonna make an L with our hand and we're gonna put it on our shoulders and then on our hips. So in the Lord, let's do it together, the whole thing. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Now we're just gonna lift our hands and in his mighty power, do it together with me. And in his mighty power, let's do the whole thing. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. And then we're gonna put on the full armor of God. And when we say that, we're gonna do head, shoulders, knees, and toes, okay? So put on the full armor of God. Do it again. Put on the full armor of God. And we're gonna do the whole thing, starting from the finally. Ready? One, two, three. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God. And then we're gonna say, so that you can take a stand. Can you do that? Can take your stand. So that you, when you say can take your stand, I want you to put your hands on your hips and I want you to take a step, okay? So that you can take your stand. Okay, let's do it again. So that you can take your stand. Let's do the whole thing again. One, two, three. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil schemes. Can you say that? Against the devil's schemes. Let's do it again. Against the devil schemes. Really loud. Against the devil schemes. Very good. Let's do the whole thing, okay? I think that that's it. We got it. Are you ready? Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Very good! You did the whole verse. And then we're going to say Ephesians. Put your hands together. Pretend that you're going to open a book. Ephesians 6, 10 and 11. Let's do it again. Ephesians 6, 10 and 11. Very good! Okay, now I'm going to bring... Myself again and me, Sherry, all dressed up in an armor, and we're gonna say the verse again, okay? Be ready, we're gonna do it with me all dressed up. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Ephesians 6, 10 and 11. Great job, guys! Good job. Yeah, here we go! That was very good. Now y'all can sit down, take a deep breath, because 
Now we're going to learn about something very important. You know how in every story, in every um, fairy tale, in every superhero story, there's always the bad guy and there's always the good guy. The bad guy is called our enemy. So when we're fighting something, when we're in a battle, we're always fighting an enemy. That's somebody that is not good. That's somebody that is not nice. In our story today, our enemy is Satan. And we're going to learn a little bit more about Satan. Let's pay attention and let's watch this video. Who is Satan? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He created everything, the planets, the stars, and angels. In his heavenly creation, there was an especially beautiful angel named Lucifer. Later, when the opportunity arose, Lucifer's heart changed and became filled with pride. He decided he wanted to be as important as God and take control of God's human family. Describing what Lucifer was thinking, Isaiah tells us, You said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will make myself like the Most High. We must always be careful that pride doesn't enter our hearts. After God cast Lucifer out of heaven, he was later called by a new name, Satan, and he's also known as the devil. Ephesians calls Satan the prince of the power of the air because he is permitted, for now, to live invisibly in our atmosphere where he encourages mankind to do evil things. Of course, God knew all along that Satan would go against him. He permitted this to happen so men and angels could learn what disobedience to God brings. But it is all part of an amazing plan in store for all of us. In the future, God will set up his kingdom both in heaven and on earth, Satan will be destroyed, and mankind will live together in peace on a perfect earth. In the meantime, remember what James said, Resist the devil and he will flee from you. We can resist by doing right and kind things for others and pray for God's help to avoid all evil temptations. Always remember that God is greater than the powers of darkness. Were you paying attention? So in our story today, we saw that God created Satan, but Satan, that we also call devil, chose to disobey God. He did not want to live in heaven with God and he was banned out of heaven. He couldn't live in heaven anymore. And because of that, he's evil. God is good. And if he's fighting God, he is evil. And here's the thing. There is a battle going on, like we learned last week. A battle that we can't see with our eyes. But it is happening everywhere. And Satan is trying. Satan is fighting so hard to get you and to get me and to get everybody to do bad things, to say bad things, to think bad things, and sin, because that's disobeying God. So it's a battle that we can't see, but it's happening. But here's the deal. God is so much stronger than Satan. God is so much more powerful. And God has given us the gift of his armor that we're going to learn more about it the next few weeks. But you can rest sure and know for sure that even though Satan is trying really hard, the one that is with us, the one that is on our side, the good guide of our story, God, he is more powerful and he gave us something that we can use to defend ourselves from Satan's lies. And we know that it's all part of God's plan and we know the end of this story. God wins always. Like in every superhero story, the superhero, the good guy always wins. In this story, we know the end. God wins because we believe the Bible and the Bible tells us that there is a battle going on that we can't see but we have a special army that we can't really see or put on like this but we know what it is that God gave us so we can fight and we can defeat our enemy the devil Satan so it is reason that is enough reason for us to celebrate and sing and dance and let's sing our Armor of God song, everybody stand up. We're gonna do it together. Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. Put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. First things first, got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news. Hey -oh, hey -oh. 
The armor of God and the shield of faith Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray I put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one I put on the full armor of God The full armor of God First things first, you got the belt of truth My boots, I gotta tell the good news The armor of God and the shield of faith Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray Put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one Put on the full armor of God The full armor of God We can stand, stand, stand against every evil plan, plan, plan. Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong. He has won. I put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. I put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one. I put on. that God gave us the special gift of the armor of God so we can defeat our enemy. And right now, story time is done. We're gonna go back to our rooms, but I want you to remember, come back next Sunday because we're gonna learn about each piece of our armor. But today, we learned about our enemy, and we need to know that our God, the good guy who is on our side, is more powerful. And be oh, because of that, we win the battle. All right, so guys, come back next week so we can learn more about the armor of God. See you later.